Hi, this is Laura Tucker with Really Entertainment News. First, I have to do a personal comment here. After I posted the video about T.T. Pierce suing Ellen DeGeneres because of the mispronunciation of her name, a commenter on the video asked how I'd feel if someone changed the first letter in my last name from a T to an F and blasted it all over. I replied it wouldn't be the first time. Then they asked, what if it was blasted to every TV in America? No, wouldn't bother me. I'd welcome the advertising though. Maybe I should introduce these videos by saying, hi, I'm Laura Fucker. Oh, doesn't bother me. Roseanne Barr believes we would be so lucky if Donald Trump became president. Really? I'm just surprised she feels that way. I get it. There are people who like Hillary, people who like Trump, people who don't like either one. I get that. I'm just surprised that she's in the camp that does like him. Then again, maybe it has something to do with her failed campaign in 2012 when she ran for president. She couldn't pick up the nomination for the Green Tea Party, as so she ran then on the Peace and Freedom Party ticket and still lost. Mostly her reasoning is she just hates Hillary. A lot of people do. With one of her reasons for hating her being that she hangs out with former President Bush. Not sure which one. And she also likes Trump because he financed his own campaign. But I believe that has been in dispute. David Letterman says he couldn't care less about late night TV. Really? He says he doesn't miss it. And the first day of the new show with Stephen Colbert, an energy left him when he realized it wasn't his problem anymore. He's happy for the guys that are now on TV and believes there should be more women. He doesn't know why they didn't give his show to a woman. It's understandable why he was able to leave his show after so many years doing it. But it's surprising that he just doesn't care anymore. But looking at his outgrown beard, I don't think he cares about much these days. Comedy Central's next roastee will be Rob Lowe. Really? I think he's a fitting subject. He's gone through a lot since he hit fame. I actually remember him on his first series, A New Kind of Family. Wikipedia says it only lasted 11 episodes, and I think I was the only viewer. But then he went on to do so many great movies and TV shows after that. Once while in Chicago, a friend of mine licked the bar stool she thought he sat on in about last night. <laughs> but he's had his well-known struggles, too. Like the sex tape of him with a 16-year-old the night before the Democratic Convention in 88. I'm thinking they could have a lot of fun with that on a roast.